Where would we be without intrepid journalists like Jimmy Kimmel giving us an important sit down interview with the son of the president? Why, just the other night we learned, we laughed, we loved, and we even cried a little bit when we learned about the tragic life of Hunter Biden, how he overcame adversity and even stuck it to Vladimir Putin a little bit. Well, if it wasn't for Jimmy Kimmel, we wouldn't know the truth. I'd also like to extend a heartfelt thank you to the intrepid journalists who covered the election news with vigor and ferocity, and especially over the past four years, as they as they slammed that criminal Donald Trump Jr. I think you get the point I'm trying to make. It was a waste of time that pe- people on social media are calling Jimmy Kimmel and Hunter Biden dumb and dumber. And I look back at the news about Donald Trump Jr. And they just tried to smear him relentlessly. And what did Trump Jr. do that was anywhere near what Hunter Biden had done? Hunter Biden has been implicated in some very serious scandals, criminal activity, and he is a crackhead. All right. Well, was a crackhead. I guess we should be fair. He's got all his teeth now. But these photos going around showing his crack teeth, it's insane. The fact that he got to that point, he was in shambles. And you know what? I, I, I throw it back to, to uh, Joe Biden. I mean, he's responsible for the life of his child. And it's strange to me when I mention that and people are like, no, you can't, you can't blame the dad for what his kid did. Yeah, I can. I absolutely can. They raised the guy. Sure, he's 50 and he's a crackhead. What about his life led him to this point? I get it. We all have free will. And at a certain point, your parents can't do all that much. I just think Joe Biden's a bad person. I think he's a manipulative, duplicitous, eh, corporate shill politician. And so is his son. And that's why it's no surprise. Don Jr., was he ever given this this laugh fest with Jimmy Kimmel doing a pro book tour? We literally have a crackhead for uh, as the son of the president. Now, here's the story. The Daily Mail says Jimmy Kimmel is blasted for joking about Hunter's drug addiction in their lighthearted interview as they are branded dumb and dumber by social media. Jimmy Kimmel was last night blasted for joking about Hunter's drug addiction. Social media users branded the pair dumb and dumber after they laughed about how the president's son used to smoke crack cocaine and take his clothes off. I'm just I'm just going to do this. I'm just, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do this. Snopes. Did Hunter Biden say he smoked Parmesan cheese? True saith Snopes. Okay, just so you know where we're at. Pants were the problem, the 51-year-old Timmel, the 51-year-old told Kimmel during the interview to promote his new memoir. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that, you know, we have so many inner city young men and, uh, 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 you know, career addicts or crim- career criminals and uh, drug addicts rotting in prison and suffering. And then you can see how Hunter Biden is, uh, uh, he didn't go to prison. No, he got a cushy job at Burisma. This, this, is, this is what we don't like. This is what regular people don't like. I say we, because I, I, I assume you don't like it either. But it's not just left. It's not just right. It's not just moderates. It's regular people. We watch as some dude in Chicago is an addict. He, he needs some drugs. He gets arrested. He goes to prison. We watch as Hunter Biden gets the help he needs instead of prison. And now he gets to be rich more. He's already rich. Sure. Great. That's the game. And they put it in your face. That's what Jimmy Kimmel is doing. That's why it's funny to them. They're in the club. They know it. You ain't in it. It's the Hunger Games. It's seriously the Hunger Games. The capital city will flaunt and laugh as this dude's teeth rot out of his face. He commits crimes. He reportedly is lying on federal background check forms to obtain a gun as a crackhead. No punishment. In fact, he gets rewarded. Now that's privilege. Some viewers were less than impressed by their attitude towards cocaine and more broadly, how the late night host failed to grill Hunter on his role on the board of Ukrainian gas firm Burisma or the infamous contents of his laptop. You know what's worse than Hunter's stupidity? It's Jimmy Kimmel's stupidity. He's talking to Hunter about Burisma on the laptop as if it was a lie. Dumb and dumber too. One user tweeted. Another wrote Jimmy Kimmel, why are you having a criminal on your show? I have no respect for you or your show. I understand you are a serious liberal, liberal but there are facts. There, there are fact this guy done something shady. And you bring him to hunt. You, you bring him to Hunter Biden makes you look like an idiot. A third person tweeted, watching the media and Democrats try to humanize him has been something to behold. Hunter was on effing Jimmy Kimmel last night. The stuff we know about how uh, uh, we know about is awful. But what we don't know is likely so much worse. Let's play a game. Daily Mail reports, 
Hunter Biden jokes that keeping his pants on was a problem when he was using crack and continues to claim he doesn't know if his laptop is his, if, if, if laptop is his, despite forensic evidence proving that it is in lighthearted interview with Jimmy Kimmel. So there's the news. The Daily Mail says that they have confirmed with forensic experts the laptop was his thanks to its digital fingerprint. Sure. I give you, ladies and gentlemen, journalism. NPR tweeted October 22nd, 2020. Why haven't you seen any stories from NPR about the New York Post's Hunter Biden story? Read more in this week's newsletter. And they posted this image. We don't want to waste our time on stories that are not really stories. And we don't want to waste the listeners and readers time on stories that are just pure distractions. It's absolutely a distraction that the son of then presidential candidate was a crackhead who has teeth right out of his face, where emails revealed that he was organizing meetings with Chinese interests. All of that was all just a non-story. You know, it's really crazy. The Hunter Biden laptop story may be one of the biggest scandals in American history. Not, I'm not exaggerating. A vice, former vice president and presidential candidate was implicated in cutting pay for play deals, essentially, with China, flying his son on Air Force Two government property to negotiate private equity deals. This guy wanted to be president at a time when people are talking about potential war with China and China is seemingly interested in in, uh, raiding Taiwan and seizing power. If the U.S. can't defend its allies in the Southeast, uh, in Southeast Asia, I mean, we're done. The U.S. will no longer be the superpower. It will be China. This may be the biggest scandal in U.S. history. The son of the president, a drug addict criminal who has reportedly committed felonies, was involved in these schemes, was making money, was was telling people that he was getting a cut for the big guy, his dad. Organized crime has taken over this country. That's the easiest way to put it. Now, look, I have no problem giving credit to Joe Biden if he does something I think is good. I like a lot of the infrastructure package, but a, little, a lot of it is too much of that cult woke nonsense. I like the idea of fixing bridges and roads, so let's not give him too much credit. What worries me now is war is building up on the Ukrainian front with Russia. China is the real threat. But you see, these career criminals, these organized criminals, they want that natural gas. They want that oil. They want, they want the Qatar Turkey pipeline. They want to focus on that. Why? Well, that's where their money's at. You see, Hunter Biden's son, I'm, I'm sorry, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, is, is put on the, 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 the board of directors of Burisma, natural gas company in Ukraine. Surprise, surprise. It is as corrupt as it comes, and it's, it's happening right in front of our faces. Jimmy Kimmel is a clown for organized crime. He wants regular people to look at Hunter and smile and say, oh, what a crazy guy smoking crack cocaine. What a drug addict. Ah, it's no problem, though. Everybody else in, is, is, it goes to prison, right, you know, for that, let alone as the son of the president. This is the, these are the politicians we get. The Daily Mail says the president's son appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live Thursday to promote his new memoir. Oh, he gets to make money doing it. Kimmel asked the 51-year-old about his laptop, which became a source of intense interest in the run-up to the election. I mean, claims Joe Biden had done business with China and was compromised. Claims, that's right. A family confidant came out on the record, Tony Bobulinski, and said, it's all true. Amazing. I saw you talking about the laptop in interviews, and it became a big thing. And when you are asked if it's your laptop, you say you don't know, Kimmel said. And that is hard to believe unless you read the book, and then I'm surprised you have shoes on. Amazing. So he's saying Hunter Biden doesn't know if it's his own laptop because he's a crackhead who smokes Parmesan cheese. Biden, who writes in graphic detail about his crack addiction, replied, yeah, I made it today. Pants were the problem. His flippant remark was all the more uh, ironic because one of the photos found in the abandoned laptop shows Hunter standing in his underwear. Social media users immediately lashed out of the lighthearted interview and slammed both Biden and Kimmel as dumb and dumber for joking about drug addiction. (laughs) Well, there's a photo during the Kimmel interview. Biden returned to the subject of the laptop which was handed into a repair shop. This, this, I'll, 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 give you the, I'll give you the gist of it. Uh, a laptop was, was left with a computer repair shop. Hunter Biden apparently never came to pick up the laptop. We don't, maybe it was Hunter Biden who dropped it off. The computer repair guy then, I guess, passed it off to uh, the feds, made a copy. Journalists got their hands on it. The story was published. The contents are insane. Emails, it's just, it's nuts. A lot of journalists have published a lot of things about it. And I think the fact that this guy is the son of the president, 
and implicates the president in such crazy ways. Wow. They go on to say, uh, Jimmy Kimmel says, don't you ever wish you had Apple care? Ha ha. Biden conceded that would have been a good idea. Elsewhere in the interview, Biden also hit out at Donald Trump Jr. Oh, because Trump Jr. has certainly done things this bad, right? After the former first son repeatedly trolled him in recent days over his crack addiction. Does it make you crazy when you hear someone like Trump Jr. say the only reason you're able to get away with these things is because you're a Biden and because of your last name? It's wildly comical. That's putting it lightly, Biden said. But I don't spend too much time thinking about it. What's comical about it? The dude got caught with crack. They, they searched his car. Apparently, they found a crack pipe in his car at one point. This dude doesn't go to jail for it. He claimed on a federal background check form he wasn't an unlawful user of drugs, but he admits on TV he was a crackhead. Is Joe Biden going to come out and arrest his own son? Order the DOJ to arrest Hunter Biden? Of course he won't, because they're criminals. It's what criminals do. It's a big club and you ain't in it. He also spoke about his controversial appointment to the board of Ukrainian energy firm Barisma, which critics have claimed he was unqualified for and was only given because his father was vice president. He said, go to the beginning. I went to Yale Law School. I served on a dozen boards before Barisma. I was a vice chairman of the board in Amtrak and a chairman of the board in the World Food Program, supporting the largest humanitarian organization in the world. And I had an expertise in corporate governance and I was a lawyer, which is how I was first approached. However, what I didn't take into account was the way in which they would use the perception against my dad. I would not do it again for that reason. Shove off, dude. He's like, look at all the other boards that I was placed on because I was the son of the vice president or the son of a prominent senator. Scumbag. It's disgusting. You are not someone special. Where are the other prominent Yale Law School members who are dominating this board? Sure, I know. There's probably a lot. What I'm saying is, you get put on these boards, the board of these other companies. That's not absolving you of what happened with Barisma. Okay, you get it. You get those positions because of your dad. You get to go to Yale because of your dad. That's all you are, a crackhead with a last name. And now we, the American people, are supposed to sit back and laugh about it. Jimmy Kimmel is a piece of garbage. The California based father of five spoke after DailyMail.com confirmed the laptop was indeed his. They say the Daily Mail commissioned top cyber forensic experts, Merriman and Associates, to analyze its data and determine whether the laptop contents were real. And apparently they were. The firm's founder, Brad Merriman, is a 29-year FBI veteran, supervisory special agent, who served as an information security officer and founded his first computer forensics lab. Merriman and his business partner, Dr. Joseph Greenfield, used the same forensic tools to pick apart the drive as federal and state law enforcement use in criminal investigations. The report said the data on the drive appears to be authentic and that after an extensive search of its contents for angry for, for any telltale signs of tampering, Merriman and Greenfield found no evidence of fabrication by Russians or anyone else. Quote, the data on the system before April 2019 appears to be related to Mr. Biden, with timestamps appearing to be to be between 2016 and 2019. The operating system timestamps appear to be authentic and no evidence was found to suggest that the timestamps or data were altered or manufactured. No indications were found that would indicate the data was manufactured. In a presidential debate in October, Joe Biden referred to the leaks of Hunter Biden's emails as a bunch of garbage. But in an interview with CBS on Sunday to promote his new book, Beautiful Things, Hunters of the Laptop could be his. There could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. It could be that I was hacked. It could be that I was, that it was, that it was the Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me or that there was a laptop stolen from me, he said. And he doesn't know. This is what you get with irresponsible drug addicts. You know what I bet? I bet the dude sold it. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if look, the guy's scraping the ground for Parmesan cheese. OK, he's scraping the ground for crack. He accidentally picks up Parmesan cheese and he smokes that. How much you want to bet? He just sold the laptop for whatever he could get. Please, I just need some money. And the guy needed to find a way to get into it and brought it to a repair shop. I'm speculating. OK, maybe not. On Thursday, the DailyMail.com exposed the secrets of Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop. Among the 103,199 text messages on the drive dating from 2016 to 2019 are fraught conversations between Joe Biden and his son. The bombshell cache of 103 text messages, 154,000 emails and more than 2000 photos and dozens of videos are packed with revelations conveniently missing from the memoir, including how he begged his father to run for president in 2019 to salvage Hunter's own reputation, how he repeatedly dodged police action against him 
despite constantly dealing with drug uh, pushers and prostitutes and having multiple run-ins with law enforcement. Hunter was guarded by a Secret Service agent while on a 2018 drug and prostitute binge in Hollywood, despite not being entitled to protection at the time amid denials from the federal agency. I'd like to stress that point for you, my friends. You want to know what corruption is? Corruption is when you are the son of a former vice president addicted to crack and going on a crime spree and the federal government protects you. Tell me that's not organized crime. A Secret Service agent protected this man while he committed very serious crimes. Rules for thee, but not for me. Joe Biden was afraid his text conversation with Hunter were being hacked even as they discussed his White House bid. How Hunter's laptop is brimming with evidence of apparent criminal activity by Hunter Biden and his associates, including drug trafficking and prostitution. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say other than we know they know. We, we know they know. We know they know. They know we know they know. That's how it goes, right? It's a big, it's a big game and everybody knows how it's played. Everybody knows that all the way to the top, they're crooks and they're criminals. Now, a lot of people wanted to rag on Donald Trump and Trump Jr. And I think there's things to criticize that family for, for sure. The way I've always described it is, I think Trump is a different kind of corrupt. It's like a more of a moral corruption. Let me explain. Trump's business dealings were, let me just say, well, cutthroat. Uh, caveat emptor is probably the best way to explain how I view the Trump uh, enterprises. And that's, let, that's Latin for let the buyer beware. In terms of whether or not he would screw over the American people, honestly, that I don't see. I just see him as in private business dealings. He would take what he could, buyer beware. It's a different kind of corruption. You know, maybe you're a cutthroat businessman. Maybe, maybe that's the better way to put it. Not something I'd agree with. What we get, though, from the press is that, you see, Joe Biden didn't come from a rich family, apparently. He was a kid from Scranton, I guess, and he moved to, Del- uh, to Wilmington, Delaware, or whatever. But he's privileged. He runs for office. He is one of the worst politicians I think this country has ever seen. A lot of the laws he passed should have put his son in prison for a very long time. That's not what happens. Check this out. I just pulled up a random story from 2017. Donald Trump Jr. had direct contact with WikiLeaks during campaign. And? No, seriously. You look at the level of scrutiny that Trump Jr. was put under. You look at the insane fake news that was published for years about Trump Jr. and the things he was doing and the meetings he was having. And it was all nothing. They wanted to bring down the Trump family, and they couldn't. They tried desperately to accuse him of everything, and it just didn't happen. Now, perhaps, perhaps you on the left, good madam or sir, would say, see, the, the, the Trumps get away with it too. All right, lock them all up, whatever, I don't know. I'm sick and tired of people committing crimes and getting away with it. I'm sick and tired of this idea that if you're in public office, you can get away with whatever you want. Now, it's not that simple. There are many politicians who have been indicted and go to prison and things like that, you know. But there are just some people who are untouchable. Now, I'll tell you this. Having researched everything from Russia Gate to the Hunter Biden stuff, I don't see anything with Don Jr. other than he's kind of a he's kind of a, a frat bro kind of personality. Oh, no, the guy's got a personality that the left doesn't like. And he posts snarky snapbacks on Twitter. All right. Hunter Biden has pictures with his teeth rotted out of his face, standing in his underwear He's an admitted crack addict. He reportedly lied on a federal background check form. He was doing illicit dealings with China, reportedly, you know, for litigation purposes. And uh, his laptop, the big scandal and Joe Biden's involvement. You know, they talk about Donald Trump, the emoluments clause. They talk about all that stuff. And now we sit back and we're just supposed to laugh as Jimmy Kimmel tells us it's funny. It's funny. Uh, you're a crack and your laptop and the crimes that were admitted on it. Wow, that's amazing. The Daily Mail says that they uncovered evidence of this, these illicit dealings. Jimmy Kimmel, I ain't got to talk about that because Jimmy Kimmel's job is to make you okay with the criminal elites ruling the country. How many people voted for Joe Biden? How many dumb young people just don't care and we have to suffer because of it? How many dumb people saw some dumb celebrities say, yo, rock the vote, you got to vote for Joe Biden. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. Then they go and they vote for Joe Biden not knowing or caring about what he has done, what his family does. They come around, they claim, we oppose racism. And then they go and elect one of the most racist guys ever. Joe Biden, been in office for, you know, 47 years before he became president, passing many of the laws they claim were racist because these people don't care, because they're tribalists, because it's a cult. 
It's, it's, it's amazing. And they want you to join it. They want to erase anything outside of their monoculture. And they'll threaten you with violence. They'll threaten you with unpersoning. And it happens all the time. It's only a matter of time before uh, they, they come from my YouTube channels, I can imagine, because they've done it to Crowder. My Facebook page was already removed from the, part, the monetization program. So again, I, I think it's only a matter of time. The fact that Hunter Biden can be a crackhead, we, 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 we can see the evidence and he gets to go on Jimmy Kimmel and laugh about all of it. Meanwhile, Don Jr. is villainized. You know how the game works. It's a big club and you ain't in it. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all then.